problem over here with Matthew and his brother Sean. Let me put this up a little bit higher. Okay, there we can see it now, all right? There were some struggles. A lot of you did very, very well. But the confusing part was the three points. Okay, so we have Matthew and his brother Sean played swimming pool basketball, a very fun activity indeed if you've ever had a chance to try it. Now, each basket was worth three points. Each basket was worth three points. So you've got to think about this. If I shoot a basket and I make it, how many points do I get? Exactly, three points. That's one shot. Now it says Matthew scored nine points. Okay, so he scored nine. Matthew scored nine points. Sean scored six points. So we know how many points they scored. But they're asking you, how many baskets does it take? How many baskets did they make? So to shoot, to shoot a basket to get six points, how many baskets? Well, let's go back to the baskets. Each basket that you make is worth three points. So again, if we take one shot, exactly, that's three points. Take another shot, right, it's six points. So how many shots did he take? Two. And most of you did multiplication, which is fine. That's step one. Okay. You did, um, a lot of you did three times blank equals six. And that's Sean. Okay. Now, and we know that that is two. That's our missing number. So Sean made two baskets. Now, Matthew, on the other hand, he scored nine points. And again, going back, each basket is worth three points. So three times what equals nine? Exactly. Three times three. So that means Matthew scored how many baskets? Three. Sean scored two. So now, step two, we have to put that information together because the question is actually asking us what is the total number of baskets made during the game? So we take Sean's amount, we take Matthew's amount, and what do we do with them? Okay, exactly. We have to add them. Two, that's Sean. Plus 3, that's Matthew. Now this is easy. 2 plus 3 equals 5. But 5 what? Coins? Cars? Exactly. Baskets. And then we write our solution sentence. So the solution sentence would be something like this. You could put it in your own words, of course, you know it. What's the total number of baskets made during this game? Matthew and Sean Ma I'm sorry, Matthew, I forgot his name. Matthew and Sean made Five, notice it's a word, five baskets. Really, it should be shots, five baskets, because it sounds like they're weaving a picnic basket. Five baskets during, I ran out of room, so I'm just going to put it over here, during the game, period, okay? And that's how you go step by step. However, your challenge, that's one way to skin a cat. That's one way to solve a problem. Now you are going to do it again, and you're going to come up with two more ways to solve it. There are definitely two more ways. You've got to think outside the box. This is very straightforward. The second one is quite straightforward. And if you think about this, you'll get it. 
We already used multiplication. That's the only hint I'm going to use. But the third way to solve it is very much outside the box. So your task for tomorrow, or I'm sorry, today, tomorrow, your task for today is to find two other ways to solve this same problem. Okay? Review the video as much and as often and as frequently as you need to. Don't say, I thought it said this or I thought it said that. If you Don't give me any of that nonsense. Those are careless mistakes and careless mistakes are the curse of us all. You need to be thorough. Review it. Then, when, then start to solve it again. Pause the video after one part. Then press play. Then do the second part. Right? Then press play again. Third part. If there is a third part. Okay? Happy problem solving.